Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I want to show you a demo of four photos that you can produce using the brand new Lightroom profiles called the Color Wheel Lightroom profiles. So lately we have been releasing a lot of Lightroom profiles just because they are so powerful and how they can change the photo that you're editing without using any of these adjustments over here. So uh, what I want to do is demo these, these new Lightroom profiles, the Color Wheel Lightroom profiles, to show you how great they are when it comes to portrait photography as well as landscape photography. So let's say I want to edit this photo right here and what I'm going to do is make sure this is a raw file. All the Lightroom profiles do not work on JPEG files. They have to work only on raw. So I'm going to go over here to the profile section right here in my basic panel. I'm going to click this little uh, menu button. It's going to bring up my Lightroom profiles that I have installed. So you can see here we have the Sleek Lens Color Wheel Landscape and the Sleek Lens Color Wheel Portrait. When you download the Color Wheel Lightroom profiles, you're actually going to get both of these equaling 20 profiles total. So you'll get both the landscape and the portrait. So uh, this is considered a landscape, I would say. So let's go ahead and expand this. And right here you get a uh, overview of what these might look like, these different kind of color wheel profiles or presets that you might see here. So you can kind of just hover over and see the kind of adjustments that it can make. Uh, and you can see why we call it the color wheel is because there's a lot of different colors going on. Uh, but let's say we want to, let's say we want to do this one right here. You can see it's obviously a drastic change from what we just did. Uh, but what we can do if it's too much, we can actually take the amount down and this is going to act as like a mixer. So it's going to show a little bit less of the effect. If if you go towards the left and you can see it kind of darkening there and kind of getting a little bit more desaturated, keeping that warm tone in there, but also bringing back a little bit more of the blue. Or we can get really crazy with it and go really, really punchy. And obviously you don't want to do that. Uh, so let's go back over here and uh, let's choose another one. Let's say we want to do this one right here. That one's kind of a cool little tone there. And I really like that. Uh, so I can actually mix it again if I want to and bring it back down, bring it a little bit more up. I'm going to keep it right in the middle at 100. And uh, that is a, a great way of just applying a one quick, quick adjustment there. But now we can take this a little further. We can take our shadows down and really bring out some of that contrast here. Take the highlights up a little bit uh, and take the dehaze up a little bit as well. And we can even get crazy and get our radial tool here and draw out a little radial, uh, radial blur there to uh, kind of mimic the, uh, the headlight there, just like that. And we can duplicate that and bring it over here. So that is uh, kind of a before and after here. Obviously the profile set the base for the photo, but then we added our own little adjustments there. Looks pretty cool. So now let's go over to a portrait here quickly and we'll, we'll do a, a before and after here as well. Uh, again, I'm gonna click on my profiles. You can see I have the landscape ones set here. I'm just gonna collapse those and go to the portrait section. And you can see automatically we get some of these really awesome color portraits here. Uh, really bringing out the tones here. You got some of it kind of a cool a magenta tone here, uh, teal and orange, uh, kind of a, a nature photo here. You got a real kind of cool orange color going on. Really great effects that you can apply. Uh, and it then once you apply them, you can actually just start editing your photos you normally would, uh, just like that. So really cool effect. Let's go to another landscape here. Uh, same thing, click on my menu over here. Let's go back to the landscape. And one more cool thing that you can do here is actually have a little bit of a light leak action with, with some of these. You can see you can change the whole landscape to red if you wanted to. Uh, but I'm going to go over to the landscape light leaks, and you can see what it does to this particular photo. It kind of creates, it looks like a light leaks hitting the, the front of that waterfall. Really makes it kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that, and then we can take our contrast up just to start intensifying the photo a little bit. Maybe warm it up a tad. And there we go. That's a cool before and after. Taking kind of like a plain, boring photo, creating it some sort of like a fine art photo here. Now, this last photo here, what I want to do is show you the uh, amount of colors that you can get out of all of these profiles. So I'm going to go over here again, get back to my main view, and I'm going to go to, let's go back to portrait because I do like that one more than I, than I like the landscape one. Uh, I tend to do a little bit more portraits when it comes to these particular profiles. Uh, but you can click here, watch the colors change. How great is that? You go from all of these kind of cool rainbow colors to these really just symmetrical colors going down in this particular photo here. Uh, you can get uh, over here, you can kind of punch it up a little bit. Uh, blue and yellow, it just makes it a really, really cool, fun way of uh, playing with the different colors in your images. So you can see the before and after on this one here really, really changes it up and makes it look more unique. So uh, if you want to check out more information about the color wheel Lightroom profiles, go to sleeklens.com. 
Link in the description down below that'll take you there and you can see more information about that. See a couple more before and afters and you'll be able to uh, to get more information about it there. So thank you guys for joining me in this quick walkthrough. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens and I'll see you in the next one.